Have you ever heard of Russell Howard? I believe I have. <laughs> so it's already dangerous, but we're going to make it even more dangerous with the help of booze and fags. So we have a swig of gin, then we light up some cigarettes, and then I get into the shark-filled wheelbarrow, and I go straight into the wheelie bin of Brickfield Doom. Sorry, Brickfield Doom? Yeah. Gin, right, gin first, yeah, yeah. Right, now we light up. Blow back? I don't know how this works, yeah. You first? Yeah. Oh, come on, I can like see a dickhead. Oh, yeah, I'm lit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you in? Nope. <laughs> She's lit. My fucking lord. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> now that's a stunt. <laughs> Dangerous, sexy, the fucking lot, that. Huh? Oh, man. I'm genuinely irritated that you have managed to make falling out of a wheelbarrow with a cuddly shark look <laughs> quite cool. Yeah. <laughs> nice suit. Wow, you look nice. I like the blue. The suit you look really cool, good yeah. on it. So shall I um, extract this? Keep Alex dry. Driest Alex wins. You may not touch Alex at any point. Wouldn't want to. You may not be within the compass when the shower is on. The shower will be turned on for two minutes in two minutes from now. So I say we go to the shed and find something that... Uh, a platform or, a, like, a... Yeah, an okay, umbrella. Or tarpaulin or... Yeah, yeah. How heavy is this? Could we hold this over? It's too heavy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I was just thinking for that. Two... Yeah, yeah, oh, it's yeah. not that heavy for two minutes. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah, well, let's take that back first and see... Is there anything see else? If that that's... goes over. Should we quickly try this and see if that works? Well, wait, actually, why don't we just hold... Rather than cover him, cover the shower? So... Don't touch Alex at any point, though. Feels like he's going to be yeah, alright. Or we could just turn the hose off. Oh. If we disconnect it, it makes it go over here. Oh. <laughs> and we'll put it down there. Let's get a, let's get a hair dryer and really dry him up as well. Is there yeah. any dry white wine? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. And this is a this is a dry martini. Dry martini. Yeah. We're going to hair dry you as well. Is on. Yeah, well, it looks like you're pretty dry, eh? <laughs> I mean, sometimes on the show, you just have to just put your hand up and go, they just absolutely yeah. knocked it out of the park. So, the shower, yeah. the bit above him, was that... On. Well, we took, you know, they turned it on, but it didn't work. Yeah, the shower so, was on, but it was disconnected off. because Team Funk went and busted. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just clarify, we haven't settled on Team Funk. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> By the end, I was very dry. I was drier than I was before. I was like a raisin. <laughs> OK, I'm going to give um, four points to Alison Russell and one point to the other team. What? They don't what? Four? 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 One. They seem happy with that, so, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's cool. Let's move on. I mean, yeah, that's okay. four, four, one, <laughs> Um, <laughs> who's left us? Horny Russell Howard. <laughs> <laughs> Here he is, Russell Howard. Hello, adults. I'm Russell Howard. This is called Destiny. Alex's erection twitched as he watched Greg sleep. Suddenly, Bobby Davro burst in. Fuck off! Lord Alex, grabbing the axe. He tossed Davro into the pit. It all happened. Scream Michael Ball. Yeah! Roared Sunita. It's inevitable! Never! Bellowed Alex, urinating on their faces. Greg would never do panto. <laughs> Not never. <laughs> I, I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> you were asleep. I was a asleep. Alex is a fan of yours, he was aroused. Big fan. So, suddenly... He was sexually aroused watching me sleep. Yeah. And... Feasible. 
Alex threw Bobby Davro into a pit and there were lots of people from Light Entertainment that were trying to drag you into their world. OK. But Alex urinated on them <laughs> and saved the day. I bellowed at them as well. You did. Which is and you had like an axe. You, is it? No, I've never I'd like to see you do a bellow, actually. OK. Right now. Stop! <laughs> Do something manly with this cardboard box. Manliest thing wins. So you've got 20 minutes, your time starts now. Manly, though, what does manly mean, you know? DIY is pretty manly. It means they've got man a man's characteristics. in macho, isn't it, macho? I mean, the manliest thing I can think of is just, like, beating the shit out of it. Mm. You know? <laughs> like, windmilling it, just... You get me a pipe. OK. And uh, let's meet outside. See you in a minute. Yep. Let's get this. Look at this, so. Oh. I've got some tattoos, you may have noticed. Yeah. Beard, petrol, Clarkson and Top Gear. So what's your problem? I was thinking... Don't listen to your mum! I might go back to university. What the... Fuck! Go down the local abattoir, take your own hammer and start taking names. <laughs> Next! Tinder? No, 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 no! If you want to get a woman, what do you do? I've told you before. Hammer abattoir. No, no! You want to get a woman, your best advice, light a fire. Right. Get what you've killed at the abattoir, burn that, hopefully, pig. The scent of the meat will bring the lady to you, cook her the meat, bang, done, marriage. Till, of course, she fucks your brother! All right, Russell. What? You okay? No, I'm fine, yeah. I felt pretty manly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot my tie and all. <laughs> Why don't we shuffle on the red carpet? That's a good idea. How long have we got? Four minutes oh, left. We're going to piss this. <laughs> it's a good idea. Just don't fall off it. Don't fall off it. OK. One, two, three. Good one. Oh, yes. <laughs> One minute twenty. Got to knock them all over. He's not quite proud of us. It's just that one there. Yeah, we he's have a really quick, annoying me. We can have a quick shuffle over shuffle. there. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, sorry. That bit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I also don't remember the way we positioned. <laughs> <laughs> Properly gave him a shunting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and why not? We disqualified. <laughs> well, the rules weren't jump up and down on a carpet, look like you're getting rear ended. <laughs> Not pull that one of the ducks over, and then put your foot wherever you want. Those weren't the rules. <laughs> See, that's, how, that's how I read it. That's we how I, I don't want to rub it in, by the way, but I just realised I did write down your initial quote during that task, and it was, and I quote, we're going to piss this. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Russell. Hello. Rugby, eh? <laughs> There's a task somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Knock the bales off the stumps. You've got a maximum of one over. Don't know what that is. Which is a throw. And over a six throws. Which is six, that's what I was going to say, which is a throw times six, if you'd let me finish. You must make your attempts from behind this stump. No stumps may be moved. Fastest wins. Your time starts now. I don't have a ball. First time, I reckon. There you go. Give me what I needed. Difficult not to be impressed, I suppose. <laughs> because you were also delighted by uh, Russell's skills, you will have missed his outline, which was, <laughs> call me when I'm needed. <laughs> I've never done that before. It was, it was exhilarating. Yeah. It's a, lot, it's a lot easier when there's no batsman. <laughs> we have a task involving long-distance extinguishing, like when you split up with someone over text, but with a candle. OK? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, 
dear, this is intimidating. Why is that then? I don't know, it just looks half sports day, half classic murderer's kit. <laughs> Blow the candle out from the furthest distance. Furthest person with the candle when it goes out wins. You may not relight the candle after it goes out. You have a maximum of ten minutes. Your time starts now. Where's the candle? <laughs> <laughs> Lots of these straws. That can be quite a good thing. Um... Well, these are just fun to hit anyway. I can think of another way, Alex, so I'm just going to blow it. Thank you, Russell. Where do we start? <laughs> <laughs> it's not unfair to say that Russell Howard has been the most athletic mm. member of this series. <laughs> there was something strangely humanising about seeing <laughs> you as that sad, <laughs> stiff-nosed elephant <laughs> just grunting at yeah. the flame. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like in Fantasia, when all the things come alive, and I can help you clean. Like they, they all look at me like. <laughs> 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 what about you, Hoover? <laughs> You're on your own, mate. <laughs> it's like an unhelpful Narnia. <laughs> I thought it was great. He said at one point, oh, I'd back myself with a big pipe. <laughs> <laughs>